What's up guys, Mishu here, and today I want to talk about emotes. There are many quick and easy ways to create emotes for websites like Twitch, and one of the easiest ways to create an emote is by actually removing the background from an image you already have. So today I'm going to show you how to easily remove the backgrounds from an image without having to download any software directly onto your computer. Everything will be online. And be creative. This picture could be literally anything. It could be something from your camera roll. It could be a selfie you take right now. And it could also be a screenshot from a live video that you have done. Since I do live streams on Twitch, I have already grabbed a screenshot of a couple of faces that I found to be entertaining. All right, first things first, save your images someplace where you can easily find them and access them. I like to put my browser here windowed and then have my images on the desktop because then I'm easily able to drag and drop onto my screen as needed. So we're going to have to remove the background first. And I have found the easiest way to do this is go to remove.bg, which allows us to use an AI to automatically remove the background for us which is pretty snazzy. So we can easily drag our image anywhere onto the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my screenshots from a live stream. It'll take a couple seconds to upload, and then there we go. You can see where it has plucked out most of our background and has actually done very well. For an emote, I wanna be able to cut out my shoulders and get rid of some of this extra stuff over here. Luckily, we are able to edit that directly in this program, and we can do that by clicking edit right here in the top right corner. You're going to want to go ahead and click over to erase slash restore and that'll allow us to have an eraser where we can remove all of these parts but then we can also if needed restore any parts that the program has taken away it's kind of nifty huh but we don't want that so i'm going to go ahead and go back we want to erase so you kind of want to plan out what you want your emote to eventually look like so i have my hands here holding up my glasses and my my face, and so I don't think I need my shoulders for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop slash erase around where my hands are currently located. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so I can get a better look at what exactly I'm erasing. I'm gonna wanna set a smaller brush size as well so that I can get more precision lines. We wanna make sure we are on erase. I use my mouse for most of my work actually as opposed to a tablet. And the trick with a mouse that I have learned is you take it slow and you take it in small brush strokes. Small brush strokes allow us to do a quick undo if we make a mistake without losing a bunch of work. So if I went and did all of this randomly quick and then whoops, made a mistake, we have to click undo, undo. You can see then that we have to do the whole thing as opposed to if I do short brush strokes and if I need to, and do just that small part. That's my little tip for you. So let's go ahead and erase this out as best we can. This particular one is a little difficult to see the difference between my hand and my shoulder. However, we're gonna make our best guess. Another thing I recommend with the mouse is with the short brush strokes. See, we've made our line right here. Go ahead and click out and then come in and go up along. That helps prevent any awkward gaps right next to our hand like if we had started here the program does do this little cut in which we don't want because that just looks tacky we're going to clean up that edge a little bit in a minute we're just trying to get our basic lines down there we go so we got the the basic line in there this allows us to now increase our brush size and just carefully get rid of all the major parts we don't need or want just be careful the closer you get to the parts you want to keep. So now my lines are a little rough, but they're not too bad. Keep in mind the size of Twitch emotes and many other places. The size of this image is actually going to be very small. So a lot of the edges you will not be able to see some of these little mountains or peaks. But I'm just kind of a perfectionist sometimes and I just want to get rid of those as best I can. Other days I'm lazy. So as long as we smooth it out a little bit, it will be fine. We want to make sure to remove as much of that dark background color as possible though. So now let's zoom out and check out our work. Look at that. So now we're going to go back to background. For any emotes or online stickers, we want to keep the transparent background. And the squares mean that it's a transparent background. But one of the fun things about this program is it actually allows you to put in different types of backgrounds if you so want to green screen yourself onto something else. For example, we could be somewhere nice and tropical 
or we could be at a concert. I don't know if that's actually a concert, but it looks kind of fun. Or you can also do solid colors by switching over here. I am going to keep my background as a transparent background, as again, it is the best for remotes. So I'm going to go ahead and click the one with the squares. From here, if everything looks exactly how you want it, we can go ahead and click download. Click download again and that'll save directly into our downloads folder. Now go forth and create. If you have any questions regarding removing a background from your image, feel free to ask down in the comments below or visit me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash likes. Until then, I will see you next time.